welcome back to wins lecture this is vetri in this session i am going to guide you how to install how to get started with pycharm so for basic open cv operations we'll be using pycharm uh, in the coming sessions so let me um, teach you how to install how to get start with pycharm so first go to the website just type pycharm in google and go to the website from jetbrains.com and here you can see uh, just click as yes, I agree it's fine so click uh, downloads here you can see two versions one is a professional version another one is community version so click download and uh, it is starting the download I have already downloaded in my PC so let me go to downloads and um, double click and it won't take much time to do start the installation let So it will ask you your admin permission to install then click next next choose python community edition shortcut and use um, add bin folder to the path and rest all fine but we will be using this click install Don't take much time. And here you can see it's uh, installed. I have just uh, just fast forwarded it. So just click that. I will manually reboot it later so that we can check whether it is installed or not and here you can see the shortcut just double click usually it won't take much time So just click OK. It's starting. Okay, so here you can see the new UI of PyCharm. So just click new project and here you can see the customizing um, what kind of theme you want usually I like the light color and plugins that whatever the plugin you want you can use it and let's just click project new project and uh, choose the file where you want to save your projects so at present I'm going to use in uh, v drive here um, let me create a new folder new directory give a name as pycharm click ok once again and here you can see the locations and the basic interpreter as my python uh, thing. then click create
the editor is getting ready So here you can see um, download pre-built shared index. So just click always download Microsoft Defender configuration. So make it as automatically that will ensure the security. And then now here we go. We have got our editor. Now what we are going to do is uh, let me show you only one thing um, today in this session. So let me try to import OpenCV first, CV2 and then click enter. So the line is still trying to index, so here you can see at bottom, you can see here what are the things are getting ready and uh, it is in pipeline to index. So let's wait for few seconds it will be completed that's okay so this uh, updating SDK Python 3.10 it's going to be important let it update okay so after indexing you can see that cv2 is not installed and if you click that error it will show you that no module named cv2 so for that what you have to do just go to file then settings file settings it will take you to this window and here you can see the project so click this project and select python interpreter and here you can see that uh, you know the number of packages you have so we don't have any package named opencv so just type opencv and just search and uh, just try to come down this is the right one opencv hyphen python just click install package because some unknown delay that video took me so far 10 minutes it's fine yes so here you can see package open cv python installed successfully and uh, you can see here OpenCV Python is installed. So click OK and again it will take it will index your 
लाइन अगेन हेयर यू कैन सी नाउ द इंडेक्सिंग इज सक्सेसफुल नो प्रॉब्लम फॉर्म द विच मीन्स योर ओपन सी वी इज इंस्टॉल्ड आई मीन यू हैव इम्पोर्टेड ओपन सी वी सक्सेसफुली राइट सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो सो दे हैव गाइडेड यू दैट हाउ टू इन डाउनलोड पाइचम एंड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल पाइथान पाइचम एंड देन हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट सी वी टू दैट मीन्स ओपन सी वी टू पाइचम right so thanks for watching if you have any doubts please write it on the comment section thank you